You know when I was a little kid? When in the 40s? to our stupid reacts to idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Stop them all juicy content. It's so Can you smell juicy. the juice? I think it's gone bad. And <laughs> so, <laughs> ew, of course. And uh, thank you for some Patreon and follow us on official uh, Tudor account. What are we doing today, Corbin Miles? Uh, we are reacting to a trailer. Fantastic. And it's one of those old ones again. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I have a little sip of my leftover coffee. It's called Hum. Hum Apake Hankun. Hum Apake Hankun. It's Hum Apake Hankun. It's close enough for hand grenades. You didn't Corbinize it. I'm a little disappointed. Uh, it's an old Salman Khan film and Maduri Dixit. Oh, cool. Who, the other day when we saw that one of her with Pradu or whatever the dancing one. Yes. We said this was one of the first things we've seen. We actually saw her in um, twelve hundred other things, right? Dev Dust. Yeah. Wait, what? She was one of the dancers in uh, the okay. Del Array. No, she was like in that film like a lot. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but that's no surprise. <gasps> Wow, Hey, we know him too. Buffering. I like that. 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 There she is again. You know what? You know what I'm intrigued by? What? What year is this? I'll look it up right now. Uh, Salmon looked really young though, didn't he? Really young. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see here. 1994. Ooh, old. That had to have been remastered. That was so clean. Yeah. That was like HD clean, that video. That had to have been a remastered yeah, trailer. Yeah, we, we've seen newer something. trailers that looked older than that. Exactly, uh, and it was really reminiscent in terms of its color 
and framing and lighting, it reminded me so much of the aesthetic we like so much about Sanjay. In Devda, it looked, it looked a lot. A like, lot. Like his aesthetic, very pretty shots. And right, in every way. Time, a lot of time spent setting up a shot and the visual of the shot. Uh, um, really, really interested in that, that alone. Um, so it's directed by Suraj Barajatia. Uh, I believe he was in the same one that Sartaj and uh, Salman was in. He's the same director, I believe. Oh, okay. We did the other uh -huh. day. Uh huh. Um, but it has Madhuri Dixit. Madhuri Dixit. Uh, who, yes, we know, we know her. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm, that alone, I really couldn't get an idea about the story. The story I think, I think the story is he's getting made. It's kind of almost like a family drama. I think. Yeah. It's just there. He's getting married. Something dramatic happens. Right. Uh, and there's a lot of fun songs and all that kind of stuff. And then something dramatic happens. She dies. Yeah. And then they have to kind of deal with that. Right. So I think it's, it, it's and it's a long ride. Look at that runtime. Three and a half hours. That's an almost four hour movie. Is it really? Mm -hmm. Four hours? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Holy cow, Jesus. Which, in addition to runtime... That makes sense, though. Old 90s. Things. Old 90s. And in addition to runtime, something I learned through Big B, actually, and the, the Bollywood book, mm -hmm. uh, and some of the stupid babies, of um, someone asked Big B a, a question about um, the movies being made and specifically... Why doesn't Bollywood create more stories that are telling the, the common man and being more, more real, more of the art house kind of films that we get from South India and from, from Bengal? And he pointed out something, and it's for the first time I was like, you know what, I, I, I think I get that. And he said, why would the common man whose life is so hard want to go to a theater and just watch his life on screen some more? A lot of the movies that we do are specifically so that the common man and woman who are going through those kinds of problems can have a place where they can get away and forget all of their problems for three and a half hours. Interesting. And just escape what is otherwise for them very hard life. Interesting. Isn't that an interesting yeah, point? I hadn't thought about that. Yeah, both in the runtime and also the, the content of the silliness. Sometimes, like, I've complained of, of films, particularly the Bollywood Hindi films, where, like in Cholet, I complained about the quirky comedy aspect of it and, and the Move di on. diverting. No, it's a, it's a point of revelation in Move terms on. of the diversion of the uh, wanting to see more of the nitty gritty stuff and not accepting the reality of, you know what, particularly for uh, mm -hmm. India, there is a place for some films, because we do it here too. There are films that people just want to go to the movies. Marvel's a great example of that. Star Wars is a great example of that, where you get catapulted to a completely other world and you can forget the problems of your life for a while. And I thought it was a great point from Big B. Yeah, uh, but then you also can't say that every common man Correct. Wants that. Correct. But there, there, but there are, is an audience. There's people that want art. They want, yeah. they want to see art. They want to see that. Uh, I mean, but they also do, I mean, I don't know, back in the day, 90s, there was obviously, this was the a style yeah. film that came out. Right. But now, I mean, there's Kabir Singh that's come out. There's, yeah. there's a Article 15. So there's a lot of, like, real stories that they now do. Absolutely. That are, are very real. So it obviously has changed a lot. Absolutely. And, and I think... I, I, be, be absolutely. Good absolutely. Uh, so and, I, and I my preference, obviously, is to see films that are depicting a more real thing, even if it's something really close to home. I actually love that, where I can see something depicted and that's an empathizing with my current situation. Mm. But there are some people that just don't want to... They just... They want to check out and they want to escape, and that is one of the beautiful things about a movie. It's true. Is that you can do that. So that, my suspicion with the runtime here, it's that plus the intermission. But I want to know more about the story. Yeah. Um, and of course we know it wasn't a real trailer. That's, yeah. They didn't have a real trailer when this was released. Uh, you just did Salmon and Midori Dix. Oh, so well, here you go. It, you know? I just read the synopsis. That helps. Uh, <laughs> at, at oh, we hadn't done that yet? Yeah, Prem and Nisha meet and fall in love at the wedding of their elder siblings. So their elder siblings are getting married and they meet at the wedding and fall in love. But their plans to be together are put in jeopardy when Nisha's sister dies, leaving behind a baby. Oh, dang. Well, that does complicate things a bit, doesn't it? Yes, it does. <laughs> Always makes it rough when there's a baby. Is that your best impression? No. What's your best one? Mrs. Doubtfire. Mm. That's true. Yeah. You know what I figured out the other day? I don't know if it's good, and my suspicion that it's not. Don't say what you're gonna say. It's gonna piss me off if you're gonna say what I think you're gonna say right I now. I don't know if you, it's what, it's not here. 
Bollywood has done a Mrs. Delphi remake. Mrs. Delphi remake. I haven't got any recommendations for it because so I assume it's not good. But um, I looked up the other day because uh, who I don't I don't know who does it. But you could you could maybe tell. Us. But it would be bad if it was done here, even. Like, you just, it's its almost an impossible thing to do correct, and Robin was the only reason it worked. Yep. Uh, but I just, I thought it would be funny. Maybe we should make this, like, a segment, like, a bonus video, uh, like, is some bad remake of... Oh, my dear. <laughs> oh, you don't want to make a sequel of that one, dear, or even a remake. You wicked, wicked Bollywood producers. I should smack you silly and spank you with a wet napkin. They've also done Can't like. You even smack someone with a wet napkin, dear. They've also done one of Harry Met Sally remakes. Bobby, we did that, dear. You know who? Oh, I might be interested in seeing that one. Uh, I don't know if it's good, but the, oh. I figured out who was. Who played who? Sartosh. Ooh! <laughs> oh, I'd love to see that, dear. Where's the DVD? Send me the link, would you, stupid bitch? I'll watch it right now.